It's really just spectacular. Look at that. Literally the highest point in all of Kerala. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's currently uh, 3.55 in the morning. This is literally the earliest I've ever woken up in my whole life. And I'm about to go and climb the highest mountain in all of Kerala, all of South India for sunrise. So it's about a one and a half hour uh, hike. No, one and a half hour drive from the resort that I'm currently staying at. And then it's about another one hour um, full drive, jeep drive up to the very top. And then it's like a 10 minute walk. So it's gonna be awesome. It's bloody freezing. That's why I got like long pants on my jacket. I have, haven't worn these for since I was in the Himalayas. But it's super cold at the moment, and I can't imagine how cold it's going to be once I step out this door. But uh, yeah, we're meeting all the rest of the squad at four o'clock, so that's uh, in four minutes. So let's start walking. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're walking out. It's so peaceful at night here. Dogs are barking, but uh, this is so. It's actually not that cold. It's a lot warmer than I was expecting. It's really nice temperature actually. But we're gonna walk to reception. I'm super tired, so don't expect much energy from me right now. But once we almost fall. <laughs> but once we are uh, you know wake up a little bit, we'll be right. This is gonna be such an awesome day. Literally, ever since this has been mentioned to me, for the past like two days I've been so excited to uh, do this. Because you know, who doesn't want to climb this horse mountain all of Kerala? I love mountains, I love sunrises, and I love viewpoints. And when you put them all together, it's gonna be an awesome time. Alright guys, we're currently in the car, heading to the uh, bottom of the mountain where we'll get an ATV. In about an hour and a half, we'll be there. This is the, uh, oh, my driver, hello. Sugamon, Fernanda, and Jish. Jish, we got Jish the driver. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting ride to the mountain, and then, uh, get into a uh, ATV and then we'll sort of go off-road even more and then climb it up and then 6.30 is sunrise and then hopefully we'll be there in the clouds and it'll be beautiful so we'll keep you up there along the way hopefully it's an amazing time all right guys we made it to the uh, location in which we get the jeep boom do we buy it from here yeah waiting for the jeep okay yeah it is through the like government that you yeah, order the tourism department okay. and the tourism department. Yeah. We have to hire a jeep like this. Uh, uh. We're waiting for a jeep now. And there's all the jeeps, jeeps that are, other people have hired. It's freezing up here. I am so cold. You can see the like fog from my uh, from my breath, but it's so cold. And I can't imagine how much colder it's going to be when we begin to climb this mountain. It's literally going to be like probably zero up the top. It's so cold right now. But these jeeps look sick. They look awesome. Like it's open. So it's going to be cold. I'm crazy. I'm cold. I'm tired. <laughs> this is crazy. But I'm so excited for this. Yeah. This is literally freezing. I should have taken, taken. I can't even speak. I should have taken much more preparation in the clothes that I packed. These are literally the only shorts, uh, long pants that I brought on this trip, and they're so thin because I mean I should have expected to be in mountainous areas, but ah, I don't know. And this is the only jacket I have. But seriously, thank you. I'm so happy that they're going to be covered because it's literally going to be freezing maybe even into the negatives hopefully not though Thank you That should be a lot better. But we are getting our 
tickets and stuff checked at the moment. You said one one hour it will be? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, we move in 15 minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. one, one hour till we reach the top. Sunrise is literally in like one hour. So hopefully we make it in time. Check in. It's super, uh, super bumpy. This is why you need a uh, ATV to come up. <laughs> but look how cool this like scenery is. It looks like rocks. And the mountain is somewhere up there. I don't know where, but it's somewhere. All right, guys. After like literally 30 minutes of uh, bumping around. We finally made it. It's about like a 10 minute walk to the uh, to the viewpoint, but it's already so beautiful. I'm gonna come here in front of this light, but it's starting to, uh, oh, the GoPro doesn't really show anything, but it's starting to get lighter. The sun's coming up and yeah, it's just so chill out here. It's going to be interesting because we came up here at night Obviously, after we're done up here, we're gonna come down during the day, and it's gonna be really cool to see like all the view on the way down. Because at the moment, I can see a little bit of a view, but uh, anyways, we're gonna walk up. We're still walking up, but this is just beautiful, and the sun's gonna rise. This is seriously something I've never seen before, and there's literally clouds there. There's mountains. It's super cold right now. <laughs> really, really cold. Seriously, this is so amazing. We came from down that end, and I'm so excited for like it just to be light. So obviously we can see the sun, but then also it will light up the whole path that we took up. And it's an amazing view that way as well. But just look how beautiful this is. Massive drop off right there. Literally, probably 500 meters to your death <laughs> but we're above the clouds the sun's rising the cool thing about this is that um, like as you saw the track you have to take a like a, a, a jeep and the government could easily build like a road here but they've kept it sort of like an authentic experience not only do you get to come up here and see the viewpoint you also get another experience through like the, the four wheel drive track and it was really cold up here but yeah, if they made it like a normal road, then so many people would come up here and it wouldn't be as special as it is. Like seriously, this is so amazing. I've got the moon in the distance. The sun's rising. Like it's just so cool because you're above the clouds and everything. It's, oh, it's amazing. All right guys, the sun is starting to uh, come through. There's so many beautiful colors in this life pink behind me. Unfortunately the GoPro doesn't really uh, capture it as well but on my phone, on my Instagram I put heaps of videos and photos up so when you've seen this video check out my Instagram for like a better a better view because the iPhone camera is much better than the GoPro camera in terms of sunlight and all that but seriously you still get a good perception from the GoPro but it's just so beautiful literally above the clouds in the mountains. It's just so gorgeous. And then over this side, this is the way that we came up. So that dirt track that you see there, we literally drove an ATV through the tea gardens all the way from the bottom. It took about an hour and a half to come up here, but it's just that like blue and purple and pink is just so beautiful across the mountains. People are just out here having a good time, you know? But this is just amazing. Imagine falling down here. Literally, you're dead if you fall. <laughs> but all the birds are coming out now. It's really just spectacular. <laughs> I come to another spot further along, further along the uh, the path, just to explore. You know, I want to see everywhere. Look how beautiful. Oh, someone's launching a drone. I think it's a DJI. But oh. If I had my drone right now, this would be the craziest shot ever. Really, sunset, sunrise in the background. Look at all those tea gardens. So that's the track, one of those tracks. There's like 10,000 tracks there. But we came from all the way down the bottom, drove up the mountain, 
And now we're here enjoying life. It's just so pretty. And you're literally like, this is just crazy. I wonder if you can get up there. That'd be awesome to the very top. But wow. Guys, just in the distance, the sun is coming. Everyone's cheering. It's coming through the clouds. That is crazy. Look how beautiful that is. It's the orangey pink has gone. It's literally just blue skies now and the sun. Early in the morning. It's so bright. <laughs> but that's just wow. Look at that. Literally the highest point in all of Kerala. Highest point in all of South India. When I went to Kenya Kamari, my challenge was to be the most southern point southern person in all of uh, mainland India and I got to that I literally climbed through rocks to uh, get past everyone and I almost got swept up by a wave and right now I think I'm probably the tallest one here so I am officially the tallest person in Kerala right at this moment <laughs> as I watch the sun rise in the distance so beautiful Alright guys, right now we're heading up to the highest tea factory in the whole world. Literally, this is the highest point in which tea is made. And we're going to head up to explore it for a little bit. Yesterday I showcased a uh, echo point in Muna at the lake. We found another one. Wow, that's really, that's way better than yesterday's. Good! <laughs> that's crazy. Woo! Yeah, it goes like there, there, and then it oh, yeah, <laughs> comes from over there as well. Can you uh, whistle? <clears throat> Do you know? Uh, <laughs> I wish I could whistle. Whistling is always good. There was another car coming and we had to come to the side. Now we're in a ditch. And uh, hopefully we can get in. The ground is right there. So come on. Oh, they're, they're pushing us as well behind. Alright, I'm out now. Ooh, almost fell. We must assist in the debogging. <laughs> Alright, option one didn't work, so we're going the classic toe. He's tying the rope here. And that should do the job. That's really stuck. <laughs> Alright, we're in this one now because we need to wait on the truck that's being towed or the truck that is towing. So we got a full car. That's our car that got bogged or our ATV. Hopefully it uh, prevails. Look. The rope snapped. <laughs> Is this CB, this is common in India? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're on the hunt for rocks now. We jacked up the car above the uh, the ditch, so now we gotta create a platform below. So using rocks to do that. This is fun. This is why I love like traveling and stuff because you literally never know what to expect. Who would have thought I'd be ditched at the uh, top of a mountain 2,500 meters above sea level. Even higher than that. And you know what? If I ever get bored, I can just look. Boom. Have an amazing view. All right, 10 minutes later, this is our masterpiece. Lots of rocks. Hopefully, uh, this works. Guys, we are free. It took about an hour, but we got there at the end of the day. <laughs> now we can finally go to the highest tea factory in the world. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going inside to the world's highest tea factory. So this will be awesome. Follow CB up the stairs. I have a... Uh, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Pinek and all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're heading upstairs. And I've never been inside a tea factory before. I don't think it's a very common thing to have done. But up here... Is uh, I don't know what is this, Sibi? <laughs> they keep leaves here ready. Ah, uh, so here's all the tea leaves. Wow, this is pretty cool. First step of making tea, cleaning the leaves. Okay, so the tea and leaf separate? Yes, yes. That's pretty cool. This, this way it will come. Oh, so the people yeah, up the yeah. top. He leaves will come. I'm getting to this. Wow. That's so cool. And it mashes it all up. You don't want to get your hand stuck in there. That's awesome. And it goes through more stuff. Oh, and then it comes down to the fine. Wow. And that is the tea. Yes. That it in in tea bags oh and this is the wow bagfuls wow that's so cool it's so much tea wow what the hell <laughs> look how cool this looks from the outside it's just so like uh old-fashioned you know like retro the wood like uh beams in the Factory is just like so. How how old is this? Started in uh, 1902. 1902, 118 years old, and it's still working. It looks so cool. I love sort of old-fashioned buildings, like the classic old stained glass this windows. Generally bringing in this vehicle. Ah. Uh, bringing in this vehicle. Okay. So the people that collect the tea, they put it in this vehicle which is towed by a trailer up through the mountains. You can see all the tea plantations literally everywhere. It's so awesome. <laughs>